all right hello gentlemen and welcome to the testing video for the gt3 challenge yes my friends welcome to the gt3 testing live stream first let me make sure that everything is working as it should be the volume the the screen and everything hello mr uh, tumor hello mr thomas hello mr Lionel. hello my friends thank you all for joining um let's see if the microphone is working could you please could you please make sure or could you please confirm that the microphone is working you know the usual drill uh, you know the, the screen the microphone all of that could you please confirm that i'd be more than thankful if you actually do that so we can start the stream uh hello hello mr aziz hello mr aziz hello my friend thank you for joining as well all right perfect all right thank you so much for telling me that my friends all right so we have uh, not really a long night ahead of us because the usual thing on a friday live stream we actually test the cars first in automation game but no we'll be jumping straight to beam angel of drive so we can actually test all the cars in a in a you know in a professional manner uh, but we have a little issue tonight we have a little issue tonight it's a cold night here and i only have three electrical outlets one for the computer one for the screen and one for the heater so unfortunately there is no extra outlet to plug in my my steering wheel usually when i do play with the steering wheel i don't use the heater but tonight it's actually a cold night so yes we'll be going the old-fashioned way and also because you know 600 horsepower cars racing cars it's not gonna be a brilliant brilliant you know result on the steering wheel <laughs> no, i'm joking i'm joking no no i'm not afraid of driving those 600 horsepower cars of course not but you know it's really cold tonight and i want to use my uh, heater as well so um uh, yeah everything is working as it should be now of course let's jump to bmng and let's start testing first of all i want to make sure that i actually because i think i don't know if i don't know if i did delete all the numbers you know the the uh, highlight scores or the highest scores let me check because the testing will be done because we have very fast racing cars of course i'm going to be using a very fast track i'm not going to use the hiroshi or the automation game or, or the automation test track because those tracks are not you know not not fast enough for a 600 horsepower racing cars those things are like more technical i would love to use the road atlanta so what do you think we have two options we have the road atlanta or let's see or let's see which one or, or the west coast or, or the west coast racing map yeah on future challenges I will, I, will, I will definitely use the trail mountain and maybe the lime rock park but on this particular challenge i want a, a racetrack with a long straight so we can see what kind of speed we can achieve so what do you think gentlemen road atlanta or west coast racetrack come on choose one of them vote for them quickly and uh, let's see so let's see gentlemen a vote for them quickly road atlanta versus west coast uh, racetrack mr lionel is the first voter said west coast we have a first vote for uh, the west coast come on come on gentlemen vote 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 let's start it and let's see how you how, how awesome your cars are yes but it the corners are very technical and for those cars it's not really brilliant I've, I've already i've already tested a lot of tracks i've already tested all of a lot of them and the best two are road atlanta and west coast mr uh, mr tumet i've already driven uh, like all of all of these tracks but no west coast and uh, the road atlanta are the best so far we have two votes for west coast wow no one for road atlanta okay then ah okay so one for road atlanta two for west coast Come on, come on, gentlemen. Come on, Mr. Aziz, Mr. Uh, who, who else? Mr. Who else was, was with us? So, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. What do you think, gentlemen? Let's see. That's it. Okay, so West Coast it is. West Coast it is. By the way, this video will be exported to YouTube so people can actually watch it. But, of course, it's, it's, it's not going to be, it's not going to be, of course, uh, this long. Where the, the exported video to YouTube will be only the driving sections of the car so all of this chatting all of this uh, you know starting ending and maybe having fun in the middle will not be included on youtube all right so let's see we, you said west coast so let's go to the west coast map uh, let's see we have the long circuit yes the full fat circuit yep yep that's the one which one is the longest this one or that one this one seems the longest i guess so all right so let's open it 
and of course yes now as I, as as you may have seen on the automation uh, on our discord server i mentioned that we have some brilliant 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 cars and i'm not joking we have some really really awesome cars and one of them stood out really really hard one of them stood out like me and the vip members were like in shock we were like we were i don't know breathtaking for for a moment when we saw that car because the creator of it created it using no mods whatsoever and it looks like a million dollar car and you, as you will be seeing of course in a moment so let's see here's our list and the first car to start with is is of course this one the 20 uh, Conquet, which is uh, I think a close replica from a Grand Theft Auto, uh, the Corvette basically the name. Uh, it says GR3 ARM V6 uh, 291.1, uh, which is the total category points. All right, so this is our first victim. Let's open it and let's see what's what. We have. Well, I'm, I'm gonna of course do a single lap and yes, no, no, two laps. I think we will be doing two laps to make it a real. Let's put also a rolling start to make everything real. What do, you, what do you think, gentlemen? Two laps and a rolling start or two laps and no rolling start? I want you guys to work with me, like, especially on the voting to be as quickly as possible. So, uh, yeah. What do you think, gentlemen? Uh, two laps with or two laps without? It's better no rolling start. Okay, we have no rolling start first vote. I want you guys to be like ahead of me on the voting. I would love if you can uh, if you can help me here. So no ring start, no ring start. So we can see both. Okay, without then. Uh, hello, Mr. Quest Triple Three. Hello, my friend. Thank you for joining. All right. So two laps, no rolling starts. The first victim is the Conquet Twenty GR AR V Six. Hello, Mr. Quest. Yes, sir. thank you for joining. I really appreciate it. All right, let's open the first one and see what's what. So the first one, uh, it's called the Conquet. Let's let me read the specs of it. So 291.6 total category points. This thing is running with a 3.1 liter V6. Uh, it's wheel drive and where's the power? Wow, I forgot. To, I, I forget. To, I forgot to write the power down which is embarrassing, but it's around 600 horsepower. So yeah, don't worry about it. All the cars are around 600 horsepower. So yeah, it's yes, yeah, that's the first issue. I forgot to write the horsepower. Really, it's 450. Are you sure this is your car, Mr. Lionel? This is your car? Ah, uh oh, what happened? The car suddenly crashed. Know, onto the floor anyway so um uh, so as you can see the car looks absolutely beautiful we have the arm badging there and there which makes it this thing looks like a million dollar i mean check out the lines of the hood the front of it the arm badge look at that it looks absolutely astonishing i love the numbers on the side the bullhorn logo and all of that the rear is also absolutely breathtaking very very nice amount of details and a very very awesome and cool name but of course since the car did you know crash to the ground i'm gonna reset the car you know to prevent i don't know because bmg is kind of stupid when it loads cars so i'm gonna reset the car so let's see how can i reset the car oops so every time the car loads it will crash yep so it's not my fault <laughs> all right here we go so um yep First one, first victim, let's see how it will run. It's from the drive. Oh, 
brakes, that's nice. Oh, a lot of fun to steer. So the best uh, the best time we got here is one minute forty seven point eight three two. I have to say this car is not really easy to drive. First of all, it's rear wheel drive, which is not brilliant at all in the in BMG. Second of all, second the second worst thing, which is it it does understeer hard. I don't know why. I mean, I'm using like the tiniest bit, the tiniest bit of a steering input. Uh, to you know to prevent the front the front tires to, from you know locking and sliding like crazy and understeer and this thing keeps sliding and understeering like crazy you have to maintain the throttle very very hard and you know you, you have to be super careful with it you have to be super careful with the steering yes the brakes are very powerful the air the aerodynamics are really not that bad but it's really it does really understeer unfortunately and yes there is a lot of wheel spin which is not really brilliant on a real real drive racing car basically but uh, the, the, the end result is really not bad and uh, not a bad start one minute 47.8 it's not bad it's not bad at all and uh, yeah we did lose some lips uh, going on some apexes i've seen a couple of them uh, dis disintegrate from the car and keeps basically, basically sliding on their own but uh, it's not that brilliant unfortunately but not a bad start not a bad start indeed I'm using a controller because on the on the steering wheel, yes, we will be crashing and uh, and you know sliding a lot because we have some rear-wheel drive, uh, very very sensitive cars like this one, for example. If I was using if I was using the wheels, oh, the wheel, oh my god, it will be a lot slower than this because I'm not the best driver on the steering wheel, but I'm a lot better on the controller. But again, I'm not the best driver, so some of you might actually get faster times. I've seen that in the past, but I'll, I will always try my best. All right, so what a brilliant start. Not, a, not bad at all. And of course, let's move on with the next beast. Here we go. So let's see what we have the next one. I love the looks of it, but the tuning is not that brilliant, unfortunately. All right, so the next one, it's called the Apollo GT3. Here we go. Let's open it. Same uh, settings and hit the play button. All right, so the Apollo... All right, so the Apollo GT3 uh, came with 391.5 total category points. 
It's running with a 596 horsepower, four and a half liter V12 turbo. It's all wheel drive and goes from zero to 100 in 2.4 seconds. This is the Apollo GT3 that we'll be seeing in a moment. All right, here's the Apollo GT3 with all of its glory. As you can see, this is how it looks basically from the rear. Very funky looking and uh, not bad actually. It's a middle mounted exhaust. This is the side with all of its glory. As you can see, the, the aerodynamical features, the sponsorship stickers. I mean, it's not it's not that it's not that brilliant, but it does look nice. I mean, look at that. This is like we have some mirrored uh, sponsorship stickers, which is not really the the best thing to do but you know he did it and also the wiper is kind of small which is not really realistic so yes the car is i mean he didn't break any rules and uh yeah so that's that's the apollo then here we go so we have a uh, nearly 600 horsepower it's all-wheel drive it's, it's a v12 car let's hope it's it was actually tuned nicely here we go <laughs> Okay, so the brakes are not strong, they're not that strong, but this is the first lap, so no one cares about it. Here we go, we are getting to know the car. Yeah, the brakes unfortunately are not that strong. The aerodynamics are absolutely brilliant on the car. But the brakes are kind of rubbish. Here we go. I'm gonna play it safe and break right now. Oh my god, the brakes are more fading. Brakes are absolutely fading. Not bad. Wow. Not bad at all. Look at that look at that my friends one minute 39.373 wow what a difference indeed 
So yes, the car is actually tuned very nicely. I like the suspension tune. I like the aerodynamics on the car. The car is absolutely super stable and I love that. The power is, is usable all the time. Everything is absolutely perfect except for one little detail, which is the brakes. The brakes are absolutely garbage. Like as, as, you, as you saw on the second lap, going, going really hard on the brakes at, after the straight line, the brakes, especially the front ones, I got extremely hot and basically they started smoking and I lost front brakes which is not really the best thing you want on a tra on a racing car but I really like the engine I like the gearbox I like the suspension some you know not not entirely but I like it it's not bad the aerodynamics are spot on so kudos very nice work that's an awesome start indeed for an all-wheel drive car very 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 nice time indeed all right, gentlemen, so we finished from the Apollo GT3. Let's see what we have next. All right, here we go. Let me check something quickly on my uh, book because we do have some disqualified cars and I want to make sure all the cars that I have here are actually in. All right, the next one is called the Astral GT. That's the one. Let's open it and see what's what. Well, gentlemen, what do you think about the Apollo? What what are your thoughts about the Apollo so far? The Apollo uh, GT3, the blue one. That... What are your thoughts about it? Mr. Lionel, Mr. Quest, Mr. Thomas, Mr. Aziz, Mr. Uh, X Scoop Man 12. Unstable at turns. The second one or the first one? The first one was unstable at turns. The second one is, was extremely stable at turns. All right. So anyway, the, the, the next one, or this one, is called the Astral GT, which, uh, which uh, let's see, this thing, this thing came with, ah, which one is that? Ah, okay. So this thing came with 295.5 total category points, 600 horsepower exactly, four and a half liter V10 turbo, it's all-wheel drive goes from 0 to 100 in 2.6 seconds. All right, let's check out the looks of it. As you can see, this is the, uh, yep, that's the, uh, the, this is how it looks on the back. It looks absolutely sweet. Uh, the side, well, there's nothing really to talk about. There are some sponsorship stickers, but it's not, you know, fully on with, with the details. The front is looking somewhat brilliant, actually. I like the front. It looks very aggressive, massive headlights. And not bad. Not bad at all. I love the I love the massive rear diffuser, the massive rear wing, and all of that. Let's really hope that the power and everything is usable, and let's hope the aerodynamics are actually working. So again, 600 horses, all-wheel drive. Let's see what's what. Okay.
back. Okay, round two. Sorry about that, it happens. All right, let's try again, let's be quicker. check it out so this thing did 1 minute 37.820 uh, which is awesome very very nice as you can see with a total time of 3 minutes 19.6 I mean check out the difference between the first car which got a total of 3 minutes 44 this one did 3 minutes 19 that's a huge difference my friends that that's a huge huge difference I mean check it out the previous one, I don't know if we can actually, do, how, how can we check the numbers? But what a, what a difference in time indeed. Wow, what a difference in time indeed. Amazing. Let's see, it says total time, single lap. Ah, single lap. This thing, this thing did 1 minute 37, which is so far the quickest one. 1 minute 37.820. Wow, 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 indeed. What a nice time indeed for the Astro. GT very nice work I mean uh, yes I did drive it I did drove this thing in a stupid way unfortunately on the first lap but uh, yes of course it can be a lot faster than this but what a, what a blistering time indeed I'm so impressed with this thing it's so, so subtle the engine is not really over revved it, the engine only revved to 7000 brakes are very very powerful the suspension tune is a little bit understeery but it's brilliant I really really enjoyed driving this thing 
even when I did like even when I did when I did spin out with it and repeat two other laps it was even more awesome hello mr. cars and your beat hello my friend thank you for joining uh, all right now it's time for the fourth car let's see what we have on the list all right here we go all right gentlemen the fourth car it's called the Kassen ZXT GT3 V10 Mark 1. That's the one. Let's hit the play button and talk about the specs. All right, gentlemen. So this car, it's called the Kassen ZXT GT3. It, this thing came with 200.1 total category points, four and a half liter V10, naturally aspirated, by the way. It's, uh, 597 horsepower it's all-wheel drive goes from 0 to 100 in in 2.7 seconds all right that's the beast right there look at that it looks absolutely astonishing it looks very striking it's not there, I mean, there's not much you know going on when it comes to details, but it looks absolutely awesome. Awesome, awesome indeed. Which car is yours, Lionel? Which car is your car? What's the name of your car, Mr. Lionel? Where's Daisy? Where's the Daisy Alana? Uh, where's the Daisy? Daisy Alana? Daisy Alana? It's not on my book. Where is it? Are you sure it's in? It's not on my book. Are you sure it's in? Just be patient. It just started in as a. Let's see. Let's see, I will, I will check out the cars. Okay, where is the car? Where are the cars? Here we go. Downloaded cars. Um, it's, called, it's called Alana. Where is the Alana? Alana, Alana. I don't know. Where is it? Alana, Alana. What's the total category points on your car again? What's the total category points on your car? What's the total category points? Two hundred and ninety-seven point seven. Let's see. What's the lowest one? Where is that thing? Daisy Alana. I, I broke it somewhere. Let me check quickly my book. Daisy Alana. Daisy Alana. Are you sure you sent it? Let me check the Discord. Are you sure you actually sent your car? Where is the Bayesia Alana? Bayesia, Bayesia Alana. Here we go. Let's see. Let me check my Discord quickly. Let's see. Although I'm checking out the cars, let's see. Although I'm checking out the cars that I did submit for. Where is that thing? Where is BeamNG.Drive? BeamNG.Drive? Where is it? Crazy Alana. I don't know. I can't find. I can't. I can't find it anywhere. I just can't find it anywhere. Where is the Daisy Alana? That's the thing. It's not even in my. It's not even in my. Dude, oh man, why did you do that? Dude, why did you name your car the same name as the as a previous car on uh, for, on a previous live stream? Why did you do that? It's it's down there in in, 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 in automation game. Let me show you. 
dude let me show it let me show it to you where is automation game here we go check it out let me let me show it to you mr lionel these are all the cars that i that i've got from you guys look look at that these are all the cars right check out where your car is look at it down there down there i mean look at that the the cars this is the last car it stops right there here the vapor then you have this is my car this is another new car and this is this look at that this is where your old car you have the street version no 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 it's this is the street version i mean how should i know that you have the same car when automation loaded the cars the, the game won't tell me that it ha there's a street version and there's a racing version how should I know? This is your car. Let, let's check it quickly. Then. Alright, let's take a look quickly. Alright, there's the car. Uh, let's see. 125,000 bucks very very low under budget I don't, I don't understand why why it's low on budget you have 200k and 1100 kilo i mean i understand why you have 200k why 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 didn't spend them all to make your car a lot better than this you can add more quality you can make it you can make it better actually no power steering that explains why it's cheap no the interior is basic and let's see downforce 100 everything is looking brake fading 0 0.3 1.36 2.4 seconds it's all the drive let's take a look on the engine it's a 2.6 liter v8 which is hmm, let's see let's see large turbochargers very low on ignition timing i don't understand why dual exhaust wait 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 dude hello catalytic converters i let me let me let, i think we need to use catalytic converters i think cats are required yep cats are required here we go i'm checking the rules quickly yes Cadillac converters are required. Yep, it's in the video. Go to the description on my YouTube channel. Go to the description of the video itself. My friend, look at that. It says cats required. It's it's between exhaust and it's between mufflers. Look at that. It's, it's under. Look at that. I said 100 octane ultimate fuel exhaust any headers. Cats required. Mufflers not required. There's a difference between mufflers and cats, my friends. So, unfortunately, uh, yeah, this thing is, unfortunately, out. So, better luck next time, I guess. I apologize about that. But, yes, I know I, di I didn't check your car. But, unfortunately, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's out because, yeah, catalytic converters are required, my friend. Yeah, catalytic converters are required. I apologize that you missed that. But, uh, yeah. That means, unfortunately, your car is, well, out. I, my sincere apologies. I know you spent some hard time tuning the car, but, yeah, you know, the rules are the rules. I can't bend the rules. That will be cheating, and people will never forgive me if I do allow your car in. Sorry about that, my friend. Your car is going on the list. Here we go. And no cats on it i apologize but it's number 14 on the list all right all right all right so uh let's uh all right so we finished uh, from reviewing this car i apologize i know the the, the street version was absolutely brilliant but uh, yeah i can't allow the racing version of it so let's get back to beam ng <sighs> Yep, if you, if you don't see your car in BNG, that means, of course, you your car didn't make the TCP list. Alright, so let's get back to the uh, to our car in hand. It's 
called I forgot the name of it. Oh, uh, the Kasson GT Z, ZXT GT3, four and a half liter V10, 597 horsepower, all-wheel drive, 2.7 seconds. All right. Yes, if, if your car is not on the list, that means unfortunately it didn't make the highest TCP here. So here we go. Let's see. Yes. No turbocharging, none of that nonsense. Pure power. So the second fastest car here, 3 minutes 24.272 with a lap time, best lap time of 1 minutes 40. I'll have to say, this thing does understeer for no reason and the suspension or maybe the dampers feel soft. I don't understand why this is a racing car. This is not a street car. Why are you using like soft dampers? You can, you can feel them on some corners. The car does, you know, it dips to the ground a little bit like in a softy manner which is not really what you want on a racing car i mean yes it does feel understeering uh, it does understeer some somewhat on some corners which kills a lot of time you know waiting for it to get a grip and then you know launching it uh, again so yes it's not the fastest time here no the previous car actually did a lot better when it comes to lap time the previous one did 1 minute 37.8 this one did 1 minute 40 which is you can see the difference I and mean, both of them are all-wheel drive both of them has the same power but this one does understeers a lot but 
the power is brutal the gearbox ratios are brilliant the looks is somewhat striking but yeah the suspension tuning is you know is killing time here which is not really what not really what you want on a racing car you want your suspension to help you be fast not be slow unfortunately but so far so good none of the cars sucked so far but let's see what we have next on the fifth car here we go let's see what we have on the fifth one after the Kassen, we have the Central Motor, Motors, Motorsport uh, Tornado GT3. Here we go. Let's open it and see what are the specs of it. Alright, gentlemen. Uh, the Central Motorsport. So, the Central Motorsport, actually, uh, this thing actually see star because of its looks and remember any car that received a star will uh, the tcp of it will never be counted yes remember that any car that receives a star for its amazing looks it, the tcp will not be counted even, even if it came with 50 tcp yeah so this thing the central motorsport came with 230.6 total category points uh, four and a half liter V8, naturally aspirated, making around 600 courses. It's all wheel drive and goes from 0 to 100 in 3.2 seconds. Now, check out the looks of it. Oh, look at that. It, 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 this thing didn't get, didn't export correctly. Look at that. This thing didn't get ex exported correctly. Wow, thank you, Automation Game, for ruining the car. Because this thing looks absolutely astonishing in automation game. Yep, this thing looks absolutely astonishing in automation game. Let me let me show it to you guys so you can know the difference between BMG crappiness and uh, well automation game brilliance. Let me uh, let me open automation game quickly for you so you can take a look on it. Here we go. Because, yeah, BeamNG is absolutely weird when it comes to paint and all of that. Here we go. So this car here, it's called the Central Motorsport. Okay. Where is the central motorsport? Central, central. Here we go. Check it out, my friends. This car received a star in automation game for looking like so. Let, let, let the car first finish loading. Let, let the fixtures all finish loading because the exporter did screw us up a little bit. Let 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 the uh, let the game first finish initializing everything because it does look amazing. Look at that! But let let, let the let the game first finish initializing the the car because look at the attention to details going over the car. Look at that! Come on! What is wrong with this thing? Is this thing working or not? That's the thing. Come on. So, it's okay. The number, it's okay. But, I mean, there's something weird going on with the headlights. Come on. Anyway, so maybe the headlights are a bit broken, but check out how the car looks. Check out the paint job, the details, the numbers. I mean, this thing received a star. Look at that. We have carbon fiber paint. Look at that. Carbon fiber paint, as you can see, which looks amazing in automation game, but it looks crap in BeamNG, as you can see. Let me go back to BeamNG. I mean, check out how it looks. It looks... It looks really bad in BMG, unfortunately. I mean, the paint looks absolutely bad in BMG. But in Automation Game, this thing looks brilliant. So, let's give it a go. Around 600 horses, overdrive, you know, the drill. Let's see what's what.
right all right gentlemen the fastest car so far the central motorsport tornado gt3 with a total time of 3 minutes 17.430 and a single lap time of 1 minute 36.894 wow what a brilliant brilliant car indeed yes i did screw up the time a little bit i can actually be a lot uh, I, I can actually get it to the one minute 36 dead or maybe one minute 15 35.9 if i was really clean because i did screw up a little bit but you know uh, this is like this is like you know because we have a limited time on this live stream this is like the best that i could do but of course if i do like four laps or even five laps of course i can get it to be a lot faster than this but what a car indeed i definitely enjoyed it the brutal naturally aspirated power the gearbox ratios the brakes the brilliant awesome aerodynamics going over the car the brilliant looks this thing received a star because it looks brilliant in automation game and it's a brilliant car on the track what a car indeed very very nice work my friend on the career for the creator of the central motorsport tornado gt3 all right we finished five cars that means we have 15 left let's let's see what the sixth one is so after the central motorsport we have uh, we have an awesome one with another star called the Envoy GT3 FR Rev uh, or I think Revision 4 I think TCP 290 let's open it and see what's what another we will drive car let's hope it's actually quick so the Envoy where's the Envoy okay so the Envoy received a 290 total category points 100 horses uh so let's see so, yeah 600 horses four liter naturally aspirated v8 i don't understand because it says fr which which means front engine rear wheel drive but on my book it says all wheel drive okay and um two and a half seconds from zero to 100 I, I don't understand the car says fr although it says all wheel drive on my book so um who knows who knows gentlemen if this thing actually is because I wrote on my book it's all-wheel drive, but the name of it is FR. I think it's all-wheel drive, but it's it's like a mis uh, like a misspelled name. All right, gentlemen, this is the Envoy with all of its glory, as you can see. This the Envoy actually received a star for its astonishing looks. This thing actually looks absolutely brilliant. Crazy attention to details, and well, look just look at it. Just look at the fixtures the the lines the sponsorship stickers the awesome racing fixtures and the tail lights this thing is just looking like the money and of course it's a v8 let me let me close let me close uh, automation game i don't know why, why it's still up and running automation here we go it's not working automation okay that's cool all right so this brilliant car as you can see 290 total category points and it looks absolutely astonishing all right let's see how it will drive let's see if it's on let's see if it's drive let's see if the drivability is actually as good as the looks here we go The brakes are getting overheating. The brakes are overheating.
my god, the brakes! Right here we go. The second fastest car here, three minutes nineteen point three six eight. As you can see, the total time and uh, the best lap time, the best single lap time of one minute thirty seven point seven six five. I'll have to say, to be completely, completely honest with you, I love the engine, I love the gearbox, I love also the suspension tune, the aerodynamics. Everything is perfect. I mean, the brakes are yes they are getting overheated they are getting hot extremely quickly but they do work for some weird reason so the car is actually good but it's not actually f super fast i mean uh, there is something weird going on i don't know what's wrong i think maybe maybe because of those overheating brakes maybe maybe there are some understeering little understeering issues maybe that's why it's 1 minute 37 but it's really enjoyable it's really, I mean, you can actually have so much fun driving it. The danger of those overheating brakes, uh, the little understeering, the little, you know, and also the little surprising oversteering because this thing, this thing actually can spin its tires. It can actually slide, power slide using the engine power. So it's very dangerous. It's subtle and dangerous at the same time. So it's like a mixed personality the car actually looks brilliant and it does have a, a a dangerous slash subtle personality to it which is very very awesome and i love it to be, to be completely awesome to be completely honest i really like this thing because it's it's weird and it's really awesome at the same time and i really adore it all right here we go so let's see we finished six cars so far the fastest time is three minutes seventeen point Four, three and let's see what we have on the seventh one nice work to the envoy gt3 fr creator all right let's see after the envoy we have this one's called the germ germary 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 358 blue racing gt3 here we go Hello, Mr. Jipura. Hello, my friend. Uh, no, I, because I did, because I, I had some free time. That's why I stream at 8 p.m. I can't fire it up. I can't go live stream later. I have to start right now. So, okay, I, we forgot the name of the car. Ah, oh, yes, the, the Germany, the Germany, Germany. Yes, Germany. So the Germany, the Germany it came with 288.5 total category points. Uh, let's see, um, 598 horsepower, three and a half liter V8 turbo. It's all-wheel drive and goes from zero to 100 in 2.4 seconds. And it got a star next to it because take a look at this brilliant beast. Yep, take a look at this awesome looking beast. Look at that.
Nope, not, not yet, Mr. Jafar, not yet. So, this thing looks absolutely astonishing. The visible engine cover, the, the lines that green represent like a roll cage-ish, <laughs> which makes everything look absolutely awesome. The Ferrari 458 Italia looking at the tail lights and fixtures, which gives everything absolutely some really awesome details. Look at that. What a machine indeed. Alright, V8 twin turbo, it's all the drive. Let's see, is it all the drive? I forgot the name. Yes, it's all the drive. 600 horses. Let's see what's what. downforce whatsoever. No downforce whatsoever. The car looks amazing but no downforce whatsoever. Alright, so 1 minute 41 per lap or 1 minute 41.9 per lap and 3 minutes 27.683 for a total time. Not bad, not bad at all. The car looks absolutely astonishing, but there is no downforce whatsoever. This thing feels pretty much unstable on absolutely every single corner, and when you reach this, you know, when you reach a higher speed with it, oh my god. I mean, really, oh my god, this thing keeps dancing in a very, very frightening and scary manner. This thing loves to keep dancing left and right, left and right while you are going in a straight line, which makes the drivability really scary. 
I mean, uh, this 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 track here has not really not not, not the super you know not, not a very super long straight line, but if we are if we, if we were actually using the automation test track and going on that straight with the with the left corner at the end of it, oh my God, this thing will spin out and crash immediately. So, yes, back to the drawing board. Make sure the aerodynamics actually are functional, my friend. I love the car. I genuinely love the engine, love the gearbox, love the amazing brakes. Everything is perfect, but the aerodynamics are spoiling the fun, spoiling the time, spoiling the amazing looks and the effort that, that you, my friend, you put it on it. And that, of course, thanks to the exporter in automation game for ruining all the fun because uh, a lot of you guys went with a front lip, maybe a side lip, a massive rear wing maybe, and some of these fixtures are absolutely unreal. Like, uh, yes, in automation game, the game will tell you that yes, you have aerodynamics, yes, you have downforce, but BeamNG will never read them, will never understand that you, uh, you have or it's, you know some aerodynamical fixtures on the car i mean your your all of these things are just cosmetic they are not functional so that's why my friend you need to put hidden wings under the body of the car so you can so so i can so can beam ng can actually read them but this one here unfortunately is using the traditional front lip traditional side lip, you know lip and the traditional massive rear wing which of course you know explains why this thing you know drives very very scary on a straight line all right let's read some of your awesome comments uh let's see uh this mr cars in a little bit says the similar the similarities in the maranello engine and the lexus gt3 cars very close displacement flat plane v8 same as me mr cars in a little bit says just left this note here okay mr mr michael mr I don't know, Mr. Michael, I think. So what was the lowest T accepted? Uh, the lowest accepted TCP was, I forgot, it's actually on my Discord. I, I think it's around 200 and, I don't know, 208 or something. But uh, yeah, I, f I forgot what, what was the lowest. T I think it was around, yes, 207, 207.5 is the lowest TCP. Uh, yes. Here we go. So yes, unfortunately, this car looks absolutely sweet, but it drives horribly, unfortunately, because of the no downforce whatsoever. All right, very nice work, but please back to the drawing board. I would love to see this car again, maybe on a future Friday live stream, so I can drive it with functional aerodynamics, unlike the current uh, state state of it, which is no downforce whatsoever. All right, gentlemen, let's see what we have next after the Ger the Germary the Germary 358. So after it, we have uh, the GTX RS3, a car that I really like the looks of it, as, as, as you will see in a moment. Let me, uh, as always, let me fire up automation game so you can actually take a, a real look on the real looks of it. Because BeamNG, you know, system and, uh, you know, the whole ex export, you know, crap that we always that we always face is not that not the best thing so let me fire up automation game so, so you can take a look on the real awesomeness of it here we go here we go come on come on come on fire up automation be quick don't be slow it's called the gt3 a car that i really like the looks of it Here we go. So let's see the GT3 or the GTX, I think. Yes, the GTX RS3. Here you go. So the, G the GTX RS3, let me show it to you. Here we go. So this is the GTX rs3 with all of its glory as you can see we have a v6 engine three and a half liter twin turbo charge it's rear wheel drive so god knows if it's actually controllable in bmng or not but this thing actually received a star for its looks check it out this thing received a star for its awesome striking looks as you can see we have some really awesome uh, fixtures the gtx on the windshield yeah as you can see the, the racing looks as you can see the visible side chassis mounts and everything looks absolutely 
astonishing as you can see with all of its glory absolutely astonishing and that's why this thing received a star although the total category points it's not bad it's actually 289 uh, total category points three and a half liter v6 600 horses rear wheel drive and uh, 3.6 seconds from 0 to 100 so it's a good car it's a really nice nice car indeed all right let's get back to beam and g where's beam and g here we go let's get back to beam and g and uh, let's see what's what here we go here we go all right we are in beam and g let's see if this rear wheel drive car is actually controllable or not or if, if actually this thing can be driven or not i think I, I think i need to turn off automation game yes here we go automation game is off good here we go let's uh, see what's what we will try Also, because I don't want to spend five hours repeating laps with the same cars, that's why I went with the controller. Because with the controller, I can actually control the cars, especially the wheel drive ones. right yeah it's a, it's a very 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 loud car yes that explains why you can't hear me these things are really loud let me let me lower the volume of the game so you can actually hear me because these cars are running straight pipe exhaust system a lot of a lot of them and that of course explains why the, uh, these things are extremely loud so 
Yes, I didn't have I, I don't have uh, too many outlets. I only have I only have three outlets: one connected to the computer, one connected to the screen, and one to the heater. It's a very cold night, and I really don't want to run without the heater. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, yes, I'm I'm not saying I'm not making excuses. Yes, I'm a bit afraid actually of driving rear-wheel drive cars with with 600 horses. I mean, yes, we've seen the previous one; it was absolutely unstable. With the controller, I get a little bit a little advantage, and I also because I want to spend like six hours uh, live streaming and repeating laps. Like, can you imagine before the finishing line, before the finishing line on the last corner, if I spin out with the steering wheel? Oh my God, people will be so angry with me, like saying, "Oh my God, you can't drive. I can drive it faster." Of course, that's that, that's why I'm like I'm like eliminating all the issues, and I'm using the controller because on it I can actually control the cars. Yeah. Yeah, it, it did happen before. Yeah, so I don't want to repeat it again. So yes, I don't want to, uh, you know, spend the night uh, spinning out, spinning out all the night. Yeah. So yeah, of course that that eliminates all the problem. All right, now let's let's get back to the car. So the GTX RS3 looks absolutely amazing, and it's actually fun to drive. Yes, it's rear-wheel drive. As you can see, check out the difference between the the the, the slowest all-wheel drive car and the fastest rear-wheel drive car. Check out the difference: 27, 3 minutes 27 between 3 minutes 34. So yes, I tried my best to be as fast as possible with this rear-wheel drive beast, you know, maintaining a, 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 you know, a nice throttle around corners and using as the highest, the highest power as I can, exiting the corners and, you know, without spinning out and without, you know, understanding all of that. And look at that, 3, three minutes 34, not bad. 1 minute 43.6, also not, not bad, but it's still rear-wheel drive and that explains many many things uh the tcp mr l Haig, the lowest tcp is 207 point uh let's say 0.5 mr l Haig, 207.5 total cargo but that's that's the lowest one yes 207 all right so i have to say the creator for the creator of the gtx is3 I love it. I really do adore it. It looks amazing and everything. But if you want to compete against all the other monsters, you have to go all-wheel drive, my friend. You definitely have to go all-wheel drive because check out the difference between the fastest car and, well, um, the fastest rear-wheel drive car. That's a massive difference. Both of them are running the same power. Both of them are running the same weight. But, of course, having a front axle, a front differential, yes, makes a huge difference. All right. We tested eight cars so far. That means we have means we have twelve cars left. Here we go. What's your car, Mr. Mr. Michael or Mr. Mr. Michael? Yeah, what's your car name? What is your car name, Mr. Michael? Let me check it on my book. The Cerberus GT3. The Cerberus. I read the name of it somewhere. The, the Cerberus GT3. The Cerberus GT3. I, I read it. I read the name of it somewhere. The Cerberus GT3. I think I read the name of it somewhere. What in God's name? Where is your car? Are you sure that your car? is in the in the submitting page are you sure your car is in the submitting it's Cerberus 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 where is the Cerberus I have the concrete the central and well are you sure because there's nothing called Cerberus in the downloaded files let me check the Discord quickly. There is absolutely no car called the Cerberus in the downloaded cars. Here we go. Let me check them quickly. Uh, Outlaw, Apollo, Rolling something, BRD, La Martina, uh, Central, Rapid, Porsche, Unicorno. Raven, Pegasus, something, 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 something. Where is your car? Porsche, GTX, something, Timer, I don't know, something, Lotus, Maranello, Spectre, Astral. No, my friend, there is nothing, I promise you. There is nothing in the submitting page. Here we go. Let me try one more time. Let me try one more time so I can be sure. 
Vulture, Outlaw. I promise you, there is absolutely nothing. And Mr. Mr. Jopura can actually confirm that. Mr. Jopura can actually confirm that. Mr. Jopura, could you please go to the uh, to the challenge submitting page because Mr. Jopura is actually uh, a VIP. He can actually check the the cars. If could you please confirm uh, that there is nothing called Cerberus? Cerberus. Or if I don't know if I, I don't know if I missed because I'm looking at all the cars. There is nothing called Cerberus. I promise you. Look at that. Nothing. There is nothing under the name Cerberus. I'm sorry, my friend, but there is nothing. I apologize, my friend. Maybe you submitted on the wrong page. Maybe it didn't go through. I my 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 sincere apologies, but it's not in the page. Sorry, my friend. I apologize, because I'm sure I've downloaded all the cars. I haven't missed any car except you know for that one in automation game because it was the same name as a previous car. My apologies. All right, better luck next time. Yes. So um, uh, let's see. After the uh, after the uh, the GTX RS3, we have a brilliant other car called La Martina GT3. I think this one was made by Mr. Elmac. I think. So let's take a look of it. It's called La Martina. So the La Martina received the highest total category points of 328.8 total points. Uh, this thing is running with a 600 horses, 4.5 liter naturally aspirated V12. Its all wheel drive goes from 0 to 100 in 2.4 seconds. Wow. So all the numbers are brilliant, uh, but let's see if this thing looks as good as its numbers. So the back, as you can see from the back, it does look not bad. How about the sides? Well, this is how it looks on the side. Not, com not, not really super brilliant, but you know, it's, you know, it's good enough. He didn't break any rules. All the rules are in, he didn't break anything, we have fixtures, we have wipers, we have absolutely everything. And it does look like, uh, you know, a, a racing car version of a sporty car or a supercar. But maybe maybe the looks is deceiving, maybe, it, this, thing, maybe this thing performs really awesome, really hard. So let's give it a go and see what's what. 600 horses, V12 natural aspirated, all the story, let's see. Here we go. Okay, so you said the game is too loud. Although I, uh, although I already, I already reduced the, the 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 volume. I promise you. Look at that. It's minus five. What should I drop it to minus six? Okay, this is minus six now. Let me know what the results. If it's actually, <laughs> if it's actually better. Wow, how loud these cars are. These things are really loud. The volume is right now on minus six and a half, which I have never done before. <laughs> Wow, okay, let's give it a go.
<laughs> oh my god. 3 minutes 16.0 or 1 minute 35.887. Wow, indeed. That's so far the fastest time. Mr. Elmac for the win. Mr. Elmac so far, he's taking the lead by a storm with his awesome, awesome car. Wow. Wow, 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 indeed. And what a car. I mean, at first, the suspension felt really, really strange. But when you actually get to know it, and that I think that's why doing two laps, especially on racing cars, uh, the first lap, like you get to know the car, you know, to get, you know, you get, you get to know the throttle, the brakes, the suspension. I mean, so so on the second lap, you are, you can actually gun it, you can actually go really hard of it. But on the first lap, you, you, I mean, you get to know the car, you get to know the how how does it handle, how, what kind of things to get away from, and yeah, what a what a what a brilliant result. Wow, Mr. Ilma, I guess your car may not look the best one. Maybe your car looks like a, you know, not not the not the prettiest, but <laughs> the tuning is spot on. My friend, the, the tuning is absolutely spot on. What a brilliant job you did, Mr. Elmac, on the tuning. Nice work, my friend, indeed, for the Lamartina GT3. Wow, what a result, indeed. What an absolute awesome result. All right. All right, gentlemen, let's uh, let's see. Where is, where, where is the game? Oh, here we go. All right, so we finished nine cars. That means we have 11 cars left. Get ready because more surprises are actually coming along the way. And I'm not joking. Me and the VIP members, I mean, f from all the cars, from every single car that we gave, we gave, we gave stars to those cars, from every single one, there is only one car that stood out and we actually like, we actually like, froze for a moment when we when we actually learned the, the true story behind it so let's continue and see what we have next here we go so after the la martina we have let's see aha uh -huh. we have this yes this one I, I mean i just i do i know there's a car before it but i want to show you this one first i want to show you this one first this this thing is made by mr uh, mr japura himself let's explore it and see what's what and yes you are not kidding i'm not kidding it's a mercedes amg gt3 my gt3 racing car a true replica my friends a true replica of a real racing machine let's open it i did this i did skip a car mr cars and eurobeat i did skip a car i will get back to it after this will show you something something awesome first and then another awesome car and then the bomb yeah so after this one i'm going to be showing you another car and then after it i'm going to be showing you like the true the true thing that we are that that, that whole thing is you know that, that, that made us stop thinking but this one is absolutely astonishing this car here is absolutely astonishing made by mr japura i mean myself i was really really surprised of the crazy amount of work that was actually put on this thing. So this thing with all of its glory, and yes, I'm not joking, it's a Mercedes GG3 AMG, a replica made by Mr. G4. Let me read you the specs quickly, was, you know, when I find them. Okay, so 303.1 total category points, 6.2 liter V8, naturally aspirated, it's rear wheel drive, 574 horsepower, 3.3 seconds from 0 to 100. All right. This is how it looks, gentlemen, with all of its glory. Yes, the AMG GT3 racing car with all of its amazingness and all of its glory. As you can see, it looks absolutely astonishing. I mean, in automation game, it does look a lot better than this. In automation game, when we saw it for the first time, we, I mean, our, our jaw was like hit the my jaw basically hit the floor really hard because it looks absolutely amazing 6.2 liter v8 from amg yeah of course because the body is not uh, is not you know the body is not you know the same one but since we have everything let me show it to you let me show it to you i want to show you the automation version because the automation version is oh oh my god the automation version is just the one that you will love. So let me fire up automation quickly. Yep. 
because the car definitely you, you, i mean the car definitely deserves to be to be seen with all of its glory like this car definitely and we have many 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 stars coming along really brilliant stars i mean uh, mr jafura do you remember the gold the, the golden boy mr jafura the golden boy that's another car that we are looking forward to show you and uh, many many awesome awesome brilliant creations so let me uh let me fire up automation quickly and here we go where is the mercedes benz the mercedes mercedes here we go mercedes benz gt3 2020 all right let's me let me uh, move you guys to automation all right here we go here we go, gentlemen. So as, as I mentioned, 6.2 liter V8, double overhead, that's rear wheel drive. It's sequ six speed sequential, blah, 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 all the amazing stories. And now, of course, let me show you how does it looks. I mean, of course, it will take a little bit of time to be initialized. We have to wait for that, unfortunately. But uh, yes, some fixes are, you know, the, the lines on the front, but don't worry about them. They are like minor, but uh, we, need, we need a little bit of time to make, you know, for the game. To initialize all the fixtures because this thing is just full of fixtures full of really hardcore fixtures so let's give it a minute let's give it a minute so I can show you the real amazing results how many TC how much TCP this thing received uh, 300 303.1 total category points yes 160 kilobytes yeah it's a fat file but it's full of surprises. All right, let me let's let's check uh, let's check everything if everything is working as it should be. And here we go, gentlemen. Yep, here we go. We have all the amazing fixtures going on. Look at that! It looks absolutely astonishing. In in the machine game, it does look absolutely brilliant. Look at that! Sweet work all around tons and tons of fixtures custom headlights custom grill custom diffuser custom absolute everything the livery is custom the, the color is custom the i don't know the aerodynamics everything is absolutely custom and it looks absolutely amazing in every single way this is what this car was one of the amazing surprises on tonight's live stream so let's get back to beamng.drive and of course drive this awesome beast here we go here we go. Let's get back. All right. Here we go, gentlemen. 6.2 liter AMG V8, 574 horsepower. It's rear wheel drive. Let's hope this thing can actually drive as good as it looks. Here you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's an AMG Mercedes. So, yes, tire smoking is a thing. <laughs> the wheel spin is is very hard on this thing and the engine is so torquey yep I'm not, I'm not, I'm not flooring it I promise you I'm not flooring it the tiniest bit of throttle makes this thing look at that you can actually check you can actually check how much throttle input I'm using on the on the on the left bottom side of the screen
can you imagine driving this thing on the steering wheel? Oh, I would spin out so much with it. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. So one minute 43.746, which is the, the fastest lap that I could do with it. And the total time of three minutes 35.648. Wow, it's still, it's, it's, not the, it's not the slowest one actually. And it's not the fastest rear wheel drive car here. The, the, the one before it is this one. It's called the GTX RS3, did uh, three minutes 34.140 in total. This one did 3 minutes 35. But look at the difference between the first lap and the second lap. Look at the difference, the massive difference from driving it for the first time ever and on the second run after I actually learned how to drive it. <laughs> Eight seconds difference. Wow, indeed. I mean, of course, minus the startup. But yes, yeah, still, yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's brilliant indeed. Yes, I did almost spin out because I, because I was learning how much throttle to use, how much brake to use, but on the second run, it was a, a lot cleaner. And if I do like a third lap, it, it will be a, a, an ev even more cleaner and cleaner until I reach, until of course, until of course I reach the limit of myself. But 1 minute 43, not bad for the first time ever driving this rear wheel drive beast. Very, very, very nice work, my friend, on the looks, on the awesome replicated engine, suspension, brakes, everything is replicated, which makes this thing a real star. Very, very, very amazing work, Mr. Japura. Very, very nice work indeed. All right, gentlemen. Now I'm gonna be sh I'm gonna be selecting a car, a normal car, and then after it, we'll be of course showing you the crazy, crazy special thing that I mentioned already. All right. So the next one it's called the Lenvo GT V8 or GT V V8. That's the name of it, of it obviously. So um. Okay, let's load it into the game, drive it, enjoy it, talk about it, and then after it, I'm going to be showing you something special. All right, so uh, what's the name of this thing? I forgot. Something GTVV8, whatever the name of it. So, um, so I forgot. <laughs> what, what was the name of it? Uh, what was the name of it? This thing? What was the name of this thing? Ah, uh, yes, Limvo, Limvo, yes, Limvo. Uh, so 307.7 .7 total category points. The Limvo GT V8, 500 V8, it's all the drive, 600 horsepower, 5.2.5, 2.5 seconds from 0 to 100. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I know the looks of it is a little bit, you know, not within, uh, not within, not, yes, not within anyone's thinking. Uh, the creator of it did make this thing a little bit unusual, I have to say, but he didn't break any rules. He didn't break any rules, and I couldn't disqualify it because it would be it would be absolutely unfair 
to disqualify a car that didn't break any rules. The car is using all the appropriate fixtures, the, uh, you know, except for the picture on the back. Uh, there's nothing missing, wipers, diffuser, everything, everything is in 600 horsepower. It's within budget, it's within the weight limit. He didn't break any rule. So it would be really unfair to disqualify it. And uh, this thing actually got very high total category points. I mean, really, I was really close to disqualify it for looking like this, but I really felt, uh, I really, I really felt like I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not really giving, I'm not, I, don't, I'm, I was not being fair with the creator of this car, so I kept it. Yeah, we have a visible engine. Yep, and uh, some questionable, questionable fixtures on the back window, and, and all of that, but. Who knows? Who knows? There, there is a saying. There is a saying called "Don't, don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a book by its cover." So let's see. Maybe this thing actually is a nice driving machine. Who knows? Let's give it a go. What the? There no ABS? I think there is no ABS. Is, is this your car? Is the car in your beat? Your car? Whoa, 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 what happened? What happened? What happened? What what the hell happened with this thing? I didn't I didn't touch I didn't t touch anything. This thing just Let's try again. See, thought about that. Let's try again. This thing, this thing is unstable. I can't. Let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's pretty much undrivable at high speeds. At high speed. This thing is pretty much undrivable. My friends, at high speeds, this thing is pretty much undrivable. When, when this thing reaches high speeds, it just takes off. Yep, yep, this thing, when this thing reaches high speeds, it reminds me with the CLK GTR from the, from the Lamar race. Yeah, it reminds me of the same thing. It just takes off. Okay, one more last time. takes off again I will be I will disqualify it because it's pretty much undrivable.
Here we go. Whoa. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what in God's name is happening with this car. I mean, the, the rear tires are squished hard. The front ones are also squished, squished hard. But there is a ton of understeer and sudden oversteer. When, when you reach like when you reach like 280, hell breaks loose. So I'm not gonna reach. Yep. Let's keep it under 1080. Whoa, 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 whoa! Crap. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This thing is pretty much unsteer, un undrivable. I'm not touching the steering. I'm not absolutely touching it. This thing just keeps dancing left to right. I'm not touching it. That's that's rubbish. I'm not I'm not interested in drive. I mean, I apologize from the from the creator. This thing is pretty much undrivable. How can you create a car on on the, that can never be driven on the, on the straight line? I apologize, my friend, but your car is pretty much undrivable. I apologize, but it's out. All right, gentlemen. So now is the time. The time has come to show you the surprise for tonight yep the nissan gtr nismo yes my friends this is the surprise for tonight the surprise is not the whole the, the idea the idea made us you know made us so much speechless for like five seconds when we saw it for the first time because uh because not looks no the, the looks is it's doable but the looks and the fixtures were actually done using vanilla automation fixtures no mods whatsoever my friends this car is replicated using vanilla fixtures no mods 100 percent no mods whatsoever which made me and all the vip members you know stop talking and become speechless for like Five to up to ten seconds. When we when we when we ver when we verified the vanilla fixtures, no mods. We, I mean, we were speechless. I couldn't believe my eyes when I've seen the attention to details on this thing. This thing is full, and I mean it, full of fixtures. Check check out how much time the game takes to load the whole car. Check it out. Check it out, my friends. Yep, we have the GTR tail lights. We have everything, the badging, sponsorship stickers, everything made entirely using vanilla fixtures. No mods whatsoever. Yep, that is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane, my friends. And here's the name of the creator. The one and Yui, the one and Yui is the creator of it. That's why, that's why, of course, we gave him not a single star. We gave it, we gave this car for the first time ever triple star. The star of the show is this Nissan GTR because we have under the hood the VR38 DETT engine fully replicated, fully replicated gearbox, brakes, tires, looks. Everything is replicated because look at it. And everything, again, I repeat, everything was done, of course, on the vanilla automation version. No mods whatsoever. Wow. Wow, 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 indeed. Yep. Look at that. Even the license plate and everything. Look at that. How many? Look at that. Look. Do you see? Do you see those tail lights, guys? Do you see those tail lights? Do you see those tail lights? Every single line, every single line on those tail lights is a separate tail light. Every single line on them is separated. Every single line of them. Yep. How many lines he he did? Look at that. Those rivets. Those carbon fiber roof. Everything. Amazing. All right, let me, let me read you the specs of it. Uh, where's the Nissan GTR replica? Uh, where is it on my book? 
Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, here we go. 308.2 total category points. Uh, 3.8 liter V6 twin turbo, 591 horsepower. It's all wheel drive and 2.9 seconds from zero to 100. It took a hell of a lot of time to create this thing. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, my mind couldn't think of how much time it took to create this car. I remember the Bugatti, uh, the Bugatti uh, tank car, the Type 32 that I made with tons of rivets took me around three days because it was full of rivets. This one, I don't know, week, a month, I don't know. I just don't know, but it looks amazing. I'm absolutely astonishing. So let's give it a go and let's be as professional as possible. Let's enjoy this beast as professional as possible. Here we go. Wow, 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 indeed. Such, such a brilliant, brilliant car. I apologize for not talking. I was really focused on driving this thing because it's really, really, really enjoyable. I mean, I can't believe that I'm looking at Nissan GTR taillights in bmg.drive, you know, because yes, you can actually go and download uh, like modded real cars. Like uh, some people do create replicas, you know, not an automation game in you know, outside automation game for BMG, but no, no, this thing was made in automation game. 
and I'm looking at Nissan GTR tail lights and the V6 noise, the grip, the all-wheel drive. It's just beautiful. I mean, this is just absolutely astonishing. This is this car is like one of those cars that you just want to cuddle and enjoy with, enjoy like enjoy you know driving and driving and driving and the engine non-stop until maybe the fuel runs out or something, or until maybe you crash it. But it's an absolute work of art. What a brilliant, brilliant work for the Mr. Uh, Mr. What? I forgot the name of the Mr. Uh, the Mr. What? I, I forgot Mr. The what? The one and oh, I think the one and Yui, the one and Yui. Yes, the one and Yui. Very. I mean, he has a he has a very very unique <laughs> nickname, the one and Yui. But uh, yeah, very very nice work. I really 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 appreciate every single minute you spent on creating this awesome 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 car my friend very aw astonishing work and because because of this because of your amazing work you will of course get the prize car for creating the prettiest car in this challenge i mean there is no doubt there is no doubt the amount of time that was put on this car there is no doubt on how amazing this car is very 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 awesome work my friend and congratulations on getting the prize car for the prettiest car on this challenge very very nice work my friend indeed all right gentlemen don't worry we are not done yet we still have nine cars and more stars to come yes my friends we still have more stars coming after this so let's see what we have next so after the gtr we have ah the um I don't know how to pronounce it. I forgot how to pronounce it, which is a name of Falcon of some sort, but I'm going to call it the Hawk Mark 7, the Hawk Mark 7 GT3 2020. All right, here we go. Let's open it and see what's what. The Perigini or whatever the hell the, no the name of it. So the Perigini or something. So um, this thing, the Hawk Mark 7 received 287.9 total carryover points. Uh, let's say 600 horses five liters in line six yes my friends i'm not joking five liters in line six naturally aspirated it's all-wheel drive goes from zero to 100 in 2.4 of a second 2.4 for in line six naturally aspirated engine and this thing received not a star no it received a heart the heart means we love it but it's not you know breathtaking but it does look amazing i mean take a look of it and yeah, we broke the front lip thanks to the loading system in BMG. Every time this car loads, the, the basically the lip will get destroyed. So we will try to reload it again, but check it out. It does look very, very nice. It does look, look very nice. Oh man. Stupid beam NG. Look at that. Every time that I load the car, the front lip the front lip get destroyed. So it's not my fault. It's it's beam NG fault. As you can see. Alright, let's let's uh, drive it anyway and see what's what.
Wow, not bad, not bad for a naturally aspirated inline six engine. Not bad at all. One minute 39.2. I mean, this thing actually could have gone to the one minute 38 if, uh, on that corner, on that stupid corner when I came a little bit too quickly. But yes, it's still actually a quick time. Three minutes 22 on a total time for a five liter naturally aspirated inline six engine. Really not bad. I love the looks of the car. The car does look absolutely astonishing as well. Very, very nice looking details and the color scheme is beautiful. Love the yellow sponsorship stickers and everything. It does look actually very nice. It doesn't, doesn't look bad. It actually does look very, very nice. The engine is really nice. The gearbox ratios are sweet. Uh, the, uh, the suspension tune is pretty sweet as well. So yeah, very, very nice look, my friend. Indeed, fifth place. Sweet work. All right. So we finished 12 cars. That means we still have eight more to go. Let me take care of something first. And where's the game? Where's the game? Here we go. All right, let's see what we have next. So after the Hawk Mark 7, we have, uh, let's see. Ah, yes, my own creation. Would you like me to take it on, uh, on, on two laps to see how, how good will it be? Or should I go to the next car? What do you think, gentlemen? Should I take it for a spin to see how good it is? Or should I go with the next car and move on? So what do you think? Take it or move with the next car? What do you think, gentlemen? Take the next car, next car, next car. Wow, no one really, no one really cares about it. Okay, which is the price car. Okay, so yeah, by the way, the next car is also a Porsche 911. So yeah, the next car is also a Porsche 911. So okay, so the next one is also a Porsche 911 GT3 RS track car. As you can see, we have a huge lineup of Porsches. Let's see. Here we go. So this is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS track car. Let's load it and see what we have next. So the Porsche 911, where is it on my book? Where is it? Ah, here we go. So 296.3 total cadence, 521 horsepower. I don't know why. Five liter boxer six, sorry, four liter, four liter boxer six, uh, 2.9 seconds from zero to 100. I don't know if, uh, I think that the creator is trying to replicate the car, but I'm not sure about the bore and stroke of the engine they don't look real but uh, the car is not bad the car is really not that bad and it has the heart shape next to it uh, because it does look nice again bmg is destroying cars every time it loads it and this is basically how it looks this is the porsche 11 gt3 rs made by some awesome fan and 
yeah it does look really cool actually we have some really really awesome touch-ups there and there of course being because we have the Porsche 911 body it does look very very nice if you do replicate everything correctly but it's really 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 awesome and I really appreciate the awesome creation yeah here we go so let's see uh, 521 horses I think or two or something let's see 521 horses let's see It's all-wheel drive. Ah, oh, the price car is real drive. Not bad. Let's see. Are you sure it's real drive? Because it did launch really hard. Maybe, I think it's... Let, let, let me check. Let me check. Wow, I, I didn't write it down in my book, so... Maybe it's real drive because it feels grippy like a nice car. Wow. I love rear-mounted engines because they do perform the best when it comes to real drive. I love rear-mounted engines because they do perform, perform the best. Alright, not bad, not bad at all. The quickest rear-wheel drive car here. Sweet! The quickest rear-wheel drive car here. 3 minutes 31.538. Uh, the quickest rear-wheel drive car here. Sweet! Wow, that's really awesome. Awesome, awesome work. I mean, check it out. The second one was uh, 34, the third one 35, and the slowest car and the slowest rear-wheel drive car is 44. Nice work. Wow, that's the, I mean, the car is really, really, really enjoyable to drive. The power is enough. The grip is phenomenal, especially, especially the, rear, the rear grip is phenomenal. But of course, being a rear mounted engine, the front is really light. There is a little bit of noticeable understeer. 
uh, especially when you put your foot hard down and try to corner the front lifts up a little bit but you know you can actually if you maintain a nice amount of throttle you can actually corner this thing really not really really nice but i really enjoyed driving it it's a very 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 enjoyable driving machine sweet 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 work my friend on the tuning what a brilliant brilliant car indeed and of course it's the fastest rear wheel drive car here nice work nice work my friend indeed all right we tested 13 cars that means we have seven cars left let's see what we have next all right so after the Porsche 911 GT3 RS we have the Pythagoras Cobra GT3 special let me read the name of it let me make sure it's actually in or not because there are some cars that I did uh, that I did export and I didn't count in okay here we go the Pythagoras is in 294.1 total category points, 600 horses, 5.4 liter V10, natural aspirated. It's all wheel drive, 2.4 seconds from 0 to 100. Here we go. Here we go. While the game is exporting, let me check something absolutely really quick. Here we go. The game is loading. Everything is looking great. Where's my phone? Let's see who sent me a message. Here we go. Sweet. Nice work. Who's that? I'm reading messages from my Instagram. Nice. All right, the Pythagoras machine. Here we go. This is the Pythagoras. <laughs> Well, the looks, the looks is not bad actually. It's a, it's a short version of the Miata body. Yes, we have sad looking tail lights, unfortunately, but it does look not bad. It sounds really good. So. Let's give it a go, gentlemen, and see what's what. Oh my god, the brakes! Oh my god, the brakes are rubbish. Let's try again. Yes, we did. We test the envoy before. Yes, we, we finished the envoy. Stay here and watch. I will. I will show. Oh my God! Sorry about that. 
brakes are rubbish. So I will I will I will show you the time after we finish driving this thing. The brakes are really garbage on this thing. But the car is amazing. This thing drives really really soft. Wow, not bad, not bad at all, third place, wow, not bad, not bad at all, amazing, to be completely honest, to be completely honest, this car is very, very, very easy to drive, uh, you know, everything works, the engine is brutal, the gearbox is amazing, uh, the, the aerodynamics uh, on the car are actually functional, and everything is looking great, except for the brakes, the brakes are a brake, a break, uh, of course, a uh, a deal breaker uh, the brakes are not responsive and of, unfortunately if you arrive to a corner like really quick there's like there's absolutely no brakes whatsoever so yeah I love the car and if this thing I promise you if this thing had better brakes oh my god this thing will be a lot faster than this I mean it could actually get into the 17s uh, or maybe 16s maybe yes I'm not joking this with, with better brakes this thing can actually be like really on 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 the top which is surprising and I'm, and I'm not joking because this thing is really tuned well the engine the gearbox the aerodynamics everything is absolutely spot on except for the brakes the brakes are kind of a deal breaker but yes nice work mr pythagoras absolutely sweet work by the way mr pythagoras is the second vip uh, members on the channel so yes what a blistering what a blistering time indeed so we got an amg mercedes by mr japura from the first vip member and of course the second one we got this awesome astonishing machine very very nice work my friends indeed all right we tested let's say 14 cars that means we have six to go let's see what we have next after the cobra all right so after the cobra we have the rolling rock gt3 that's the name of, name of it this thing and i'm not joking the rolling rock gt3 uh was actually inspired by rolls royce no i'm not joking the creator of it actually made it to look like a rolls royce gt3 car i'm not joking at all rolls royce gt3 as you'll be seeing in a moment i don't know what was the inspiration behind it but yes it's a we have a rolls royce grill and other awesome things going on so let me check the specs of it quickly uh the rolling rock that's the name of it where is it in my book rolling rock where is it Ah, uh, here you go. The Rolling Rock. Where is this thing named on my book? Ah, uh, here we go. The Rolling Rock. 302.8 total category points. 4 liters. Guys, check out the specs, by the way. 4 liter V16 turbo. 597 horsepower. All-wheel drive goes from 0 to 100 in 2.3 seconds. Yep amazing results uh, amazing numbers at least on paper and now of course let's check out the luxury looks first of all we have suicide doors on a on a on a gt3 car yes there's a door handle it's a suicide door basically and uh, let's see the front yep we have a luxurious grill which looks like a rolls royce grill of course we have a hood ornament remember this is a gt3 car and i mean i don't know what, what else to say and I, that's pretty much and of course the rr badge the car does look absolutely astonishing yes it does look luxurious 
but there are some really awesome touch-ups there and there which of course which which is why this thing received the heart shape because it does looks very 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 lovely all right let's see if this actually if this v16 four liter engine is absolutely a, a brilliant thing let's fire it up and let's take it around the track Wow, that's quiet. That's very quiet. Am I driving am I driving a Rolls Royce or what? That is very quiet. drives nicely let's check out the grip wow Surprisingly quiet and it's very striking. <laughs> oh my god oh my goodness check out fourth place wow 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 indeed this is this is just beautiful this is just absolutely beautiful my friends three minutes 18.453 wow what a nice time indeed this thing is so quiet it feels like a rolls royce it feels feels so refined the grip the brake system the aerodynamics everything is so subtle so smooth so easy to use so refined the looks the engine the gearbox everything feels even 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 the exhaust when it pops flames even the flames are like high-end flames it's the, the car feels like it's running on wine not petrol which is which is very strange i've never ever 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 driven a racing car in a game as quiet as smooth as refined as this car i mean i don't believe <laughs> oh my god and look at the time fourth place so 
the, 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 the owner of this car, the rich guy that will own this car, he can actually brag to his friends, yes, I'm, I'm good on the track. I can actually beat other uh, noisy, uncomfortable, hardcore race cars and drink wine on the road or maybe, you know, drink juice maybe because drinking and driving is not allowed. But, you know, you can actually enjoy yourself <laughs> driving a very quiet, luxurious, smooth awesome car on the track and i can't i can't believe it my friend you redeemed yourself with this awesome car you redeemed yourself with this awesome beast here <laughs> awesome wow I, amazing just amazing this is this is like this is like when rolls royce tries to go on the gt3 i can you imagine like rolls royce deciding decided to go gt3 racing they take their Rolls Royce Coupe and they modify it for the track and basically this is the result a very very quiet and refined car <laughs> wow 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 indeed all right all right that that was astonishing amazing time amazing car amazing work now of course let's see what we have next after it wow all right now it's time to get serious with this beast it's called the Solo Racing Sparrow FQ600 GT3 Let's take it and see what we what we have here. Well, yes, of course, petrol is better than wine, but uh, because this engine is so refined and so smooth, it feels like wine. <laughs> it feels like, I don't know, running on very, very expensive wine that was, uh, that was filled in using a butler, you know? And the driver is wearing a tuxedo, yeah, and... Yeah, that's basically the theme of driving this car. You don't wear a helmet and a, a race suit. You wear like you wear like a tuxedo when you want to drive it. All right. So the next one it's called the Solo. Where is it on my book? Where is the S? Ah, here we go. Solo Racing Sparrow. This thing came to life with 291.7 total category points. A five liter V12 turbo. 600 horses all-wheel drive two and a half seconds from zero to a hundred and as you can see the looks of it is not really it's not really super special but it's not bad it's not i mean these these wheels are really huge and yes the rear definitely looks like a gun is on the yes uh we talked about this me and the vip members the exhausts as you can see they look amazing because they are they are connected and they have the amazing angle the same as the Pagani Zonda, which looks absolutely astonishing. And uh, yeah, but you know, the, the wheels are a bit too large. The ride height is very high. I mean, really high. I don't know if it's going to perform well or not, but uh, we'll give it a go and see what's what. <laughs> Oh, the brakes are strong. Good. Oh, the brakes are very strong.
Wow, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Wow, seventh place. Sweet, sweet work. Wow, not bad at all. Seventh place, three, three minutes, 22.111, with a lap time of 38.890. Not bad at all. Wow, I mean, I was really surprised. The car does look not entirely good looking, but it does perform amazing. The brakes are amazing. Wow, the brakes are really strong. The car stops on its face really, 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 really hard. The car and uh, the grip is phenomenal. The engine is awesome. The gearbox is, I mean, the tuning is spot on. But the looks, you know, the rear of the car looks good, but the sides, the front, you know, it, it looks meh to me. But the rear is looking good. The rear of the car does look amazing. But and the tuning, the tuning is spot on, like 95% perfection. I love it. All right, we have tested so far 16 cars. That means four cars to go. All right, let's see. Let's see what we have after the the solo. All right, the we have the Spectre GT3. The Spectre GT3. Here we go. So let's see the Spectre GT3. Uh, let's see, is running with 315.6 total category points. Uh, 510 turbo, it's all wheel drive, 600 horsepower, goes from 0 to 100 in 2.3 of a second. Yes, my friends, 2.3 seconds. That is astonishing. All right, let's get back and see how it will perform. So, this is the Spectre with all of its glory, as you can see. I mean, there is nothing really special going on. It looks like a sports car, basically, that was tuned for, you know, racing. As you can see, there is nothing special going on. We have the diffuser, tail lights, quad exhaust, and the headlights, grills, and that's it, basically. So, there's nothing special going on, but it didn't break any rules, and, uh, yeah, 600 horses. So, let's see how it will perform. Whoa, it's not stable. Oh my god, the brakes are rubbish. Okay. It's not stable. Mr. Thomas, I promise you, you, sh you should have seen what so. I mean, if, if you actually if you actually talk with the VIP members, you should have seen what someone sent to us. I'm not joking. Someone sent a really, 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 really bad car. I'm not. I mean, the worst thing I've ever ever think about and seen or in my life. No offense to the creator of it. I mean, really, no offense because I think he made it as a joke. But, and it, it's not offensive, no, it's not an offensive joke, no, it was actually a funny joke, but I, I, I just can't put it on the, on the live stream, I can't put it in any video related to GT3 because it's not connected to any GT3 in, like, ever. It's the opposite of everything you can ever think of as a racing car. And yeah, compared to this, <laughs> this, is, this is like a Lamborghini Aventador compared to that Hyundai Accent. Oh Lord, yes, worse than everything. No, 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 it's not offensive. No, 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 it's not offensive, Mr. Thomas. It's not offensive. It's actually a funny joke. It, I mean, it's a full car. It's a full car. Headlights, taillights, uh, sponsorship stickers, and all of that. But the shape of the car, the design of the car, the whole story behind the car, and the total price of the car is... I just I just can't put it in. It's not real. It's 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 something entirely the opposite. No, not this one. No, not this one. It was another car, not this one. Whoa! This thing is not stable. Oh 
brakes, no brakes, no brakes, no brakes, no brakes. No brakes no whatsoever. Crap. No brakes. Safe break from here. It's safe, right from here. Barely enough. Right, so one minute thirty-eight point two seven zero. <sighs> it wasn't easy to drive, to be honest with you. It was actually terrifying to drive on the straight line. This thing kept dancing and dancing until, of course, you reach like two hundred and sixty-five kilometers per hour, and then it gets grippy for for some reason. But uh, along the way, this thing is just so twitchy, so unstable around every single corner. The brakes are really, unfortunately, not that great. I'm not I'm not sorry I'm sorry I'm not happy with the with the car uh, to be honest with you it does look a little bit basic I mean yes he didn't break any rules but it does look a little bit basic the brakes are rubbish the aerodynamics are I don't know weird the car keeps, keeps dancing and suddenly after 265 it gets somewhat stable but uh, around every single corner it feels twitchy although it's all wheel drive but it feels like rear wheel drive for some reason Maybe because he sent a lot of power to the rear wheels, I don't know, but it feels something like this. So, um, yeah. Uh, because but Yes, my friends, Mr. Mr. Thomas, Mr. Thomas, six pistons, uh, it does not does not guarantee that your brakes will, are, will, are not going to fade in BMG. Remember that. 
you need to make sure your rotors, the discs, are large enough to be cooled down to so, so they don't get overheating quickly. If you are using six six piston brakes, six six piston pistons brakes and small discs, yes, they will fade and they will fade really hard in BMNG. You need it's the surface, the the surface of the disc needs to be large enough that to, to compensate all of the brake force and all of the heat, my friend. So if you are using tiny discs with six pistons, yes, they will get cooked really hard. So doesn't matter, my friend. The brake cooling, the brake cooling, uh, the brake cooling. It will work only at speeds. If you are going really slow, it's not really gonna be effective. But uh, I don't know. On this car here, the brakes are really not that brilliant. There is something weird going on with the, with the brakes with this thing. Maybe the brake balance. Maybe the sizes of the discs. And the, you know, because this is a mid-engine car, so I don't know. There is something going on with the brakes. This thing needs to be investigated when it comes to brakes. Also, the the downforce is not brilliant. This thing keeps dancing and it's really twitchy around every single corner. So yes, it's not bad. The time is good actually. One minute thirty-eight. It's actually a good time, but with good brakes, this thing can actually be a lot faster, a lot faster. All right sweet car and sweet results so far let's see what we have next we only have three cars left here we go let's see what's the next car so after the spectre we have the unicorno all right the unicorno godiva sn gt3 evo 2020 let's open it and see what's what Let's see, so the Unicorno with all of its glory uh, came here with 279.5 total category points, 4.8 liter V12 naturally aspirated, 600 horses, all wheel drive, 2.3 seconds from 0 to 100, and a star next to it. Yes, my friends, this car received a star for the following looks that you'll be seeing in a moment. It's loading because it's full of amazing fixtures, so it will take some time to finish loading. It's really full of fixtures. I mean, really full of fixtures, as like nothing you've seen before, which is absolutely awesome. Wow, it, the game is really taking its time. Here we go. So, as I mentioned, this is the Unicorno Godiva with all of its amazing glory and fixtures and amazing things going on. It looks absolutely astonishing. Yes, my friends, astonishing with all of the full meaning of the words. That's why this thing received a star. Take a look at it. First of all, we have clear glass. We have dashboard, a seat, a single seat inside it, as you can see. Look at the front of it. Look at that. It looks absolutely astonishing, my friends amazing looks amazing check out the engine with a visible engine cover yep check out the the frenia the frenia flag on the roof on the back on the front amazing this thing looks absolutely astonishing yes my friends absolutely sweet in every single way powerful engine naturally aspirated i really really hope sincerely this thing actually is mind-blowingly fast and grippy on the track so the star, let's see how it will run. Alright, nice acceleration. Brakes, so far so good. Love the brake lights.
brakes are really strong, I love that. It's a little bit low on the ground. We are bottoming out a little bit, but it's okay. Oh, wow, third place, kicking all the hoods and all of its glory, third place, 3 minutes 18.327, with a lap time of 1 minute 36.953, wow, what a blistering time indeed, amazing, wow, 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 indeed, N not only this car looks amazing, it also drives in a brilliant, brilliant manner indeed, this thing is so grippy, so awesome to drive, the engine is so smooth, the grip is phenomenal, it feels so stable at high speed, the brakes are so strong, the looks is amazing, phenomenal, a star indeed, and what a machine, I mean, look at it, what a machine indeed, and check it out, this is the creator name on the side, I think, the Sayanova something, it's, we have the Russian flag on the side, we have, uh, look at that, it says here, GT3 2020 EVO, that's the name of it, it looks absolutely astonishing, wow, what a machine indeed, yes my friends, what a machine indeed, wow, alright gentlemen, 18 cars are done, we have 2 cars left, yes my friends, 2 cars left, we have um, 2 cars, well, supposed to be 2 cars, I mean, there is only 1 car here, and let's see, we, we drove this, we drove that, we drove that. Let's see, one, two, three. We have four, five, six, seven. We have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Where is the 20th car? Ah, 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 that's correct. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you for reminding me. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for reminding me. The DNF thing. Oh, yes, that's the one. The black one. Yes, the, the, which, which one was that? Yeah, this one. Yes. Ah, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, the Lenovo GT VV8 something. Yes, thank you for reminding me. I, I was lost. I was like, oh my God, where's the 20th car? People will actually kill me if they if i forget a car all right so the final car gentlemen it's called the vulture challenge gt3 now it may look mm, you know it may look crazy in the picture but i promise you not as close as it, it, its real looks in automation game 
let me fire up automation game let me fire up automation so, so your mind get blown hard this thing and i'm not joking has the prettiest paint job ever i'm not joking i i've never enjoyed a paint job in like ever an automation game as as good as this one i mean i've made the ferrari before 330 america with its brilliant red color with, with the same ferrari red color it was beautiful but this thing took it took the bar up a notch so let me fire up automation game and well let me show it to you so you can uh, so you can believe what i say because this thing is just oh what's the name of it again i forgot what's the name of it again Look at that, it looks hideous in BeamNG, but uh, what's the name of it again? I forgot what's the name. Crap, what's the... <laughs> I, I forgot the name of it. What was the name of it again? The... Um, let's see. The, it's called... Oh, Vulture, Vulture, okay. So let me check the Vulture. Where's the Vulture, Vulture, Vulture? Ah, here we go. Found it. Let's uh, let's switch the camera to automation game. Here we go. It's loading. It's gonna take its time because it's a heavy file, actually. Come on, automation! Don't be a fat. Here we go. So this is the vulture, as you can see, with all of its glory. 595 horses, 3.7 liter V16 engine, yes, 3.7 liter V16, twin turbo, all-wheel drive, blah, 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 all of that. But nothing on paper is as good as the paint job on it. So let's take a look. Wait, wait, what? What? Wait for what? Don't worry about it. It's it's a bug. It's a bug. Don't worry about it. It, it, it if I play with the specs, it will be eleven hundred kilos. Don't worry about it, uh, because we a lot of cars are over and under. Don't worry about it. But uh, if you play with the specs, it will be eleven hundred. If I if I press another button on the drivetrain, all of that, it will be now. Check out the paint on this thing. Check out the paint on this thing. Check it out. Check out the, the wheels. Yeah, take a look at the French flag, by the way. Underneath, the French flag. Look, look at the rims, the carbon fiber paint on the rims. Check out the intake for the engine. This is the intake for the engine up there. Look at, look, check, take, take a look on the intake for the engine up there. Look at the massive rear wing. Yep, take a look at that. Look at that. Look at that beast right there. I mean, look at that paint. Look. Look at look at it from this angle. From this angle, the shining of the paint, the golden flakes, the carbon fiber platen, everything. Just look at that. Look at look at the joint features of those two paints. And I mean me and the VIP members, when we saw the paints, we were we were astonished. We were like, oh. Look at that paint. Such a beauty. And that's why this thing received a star because of its awesome paint job. Yes, there are some sponsorship stickers there and there, but there, are, there is not much going on. Absolutely astonishing. All right, let's get back to BeamNG because in BeamNG it does look disappointing because, of course, of the uh, of the exporter fault. So, yep, here we go back to BeamNG. With the, with, the, with the disappointing paint job system in BeamNG. All right. <laughs> no, I'm not crying. Not, not. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I went to a car show in real life, and I've seen paint jobs in real life that looks 
uh, similar to this one and even better but I, and, I, and I didn't cry I mean I almost cried when I when I saw the roadkill cars I almost almost cried when I when I saw the roadkill cars and I touched them with my hands yes I almost cried back there back then but no not not on this car no of course not now as you can see in BeamNG it does look unique the, the paint job because you know carbon fiber there is no shine whatsoever which is hideous but in automation game it looks absolutely astonishing it's a french made car which is sweet all right so the what's the name of it again <laughs> the vulture yes the vulture v16 engine as i quite remember 3.7 liter 595 horsepower all wheel drive blah 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 let's give it a go and see how the vulture will actually perform here we go v16 Oh, very long gears. steer is really hard unfortunately but it's still working Breaks, breaks, break, 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 break. Yes, it's not really it's not really the best performer unfortunately. But um Yes, it's not really the best performer. Yes, I know I got a little bit slower, which I think, um, I don't know. Um, I did mess up on the second lap. So what do you think, gentlemen? Should I repeat? Should I repeat the, the lap of it to make it fair? Or should I just call it a night? What do you think, gentlemen? Should I repeat it to make it fair? Because I did slam it through a wall and continued i mean the car was fine there's nothing wrong with it after that hit uh, through a wall but um what do you think should i try again to make it fair 
Yeah, because, I mean, it's in the 10th place. It's in the middle. There's nothing really wrong with it, as you can see. But, you know, we can try. All right, here we go. So we dropped it from the 10th place up to the 8th place uh, with 3 minutes 21 uh, of, of a total time and 1 minute 38.939. Now that's more fair. Yes, I'm glad that we actually did another run because maybe the creator will be furious with me if I actually just skipped it and finished everything because yes, this way it's more fair. This is basically, basically the potential of this car, 1 minute 38.939. But, I mean, to be honest, the car looks amazing. The paint job is just a beautiful a piece of working art. What a machine indeed. It does drive very nicely. The thing that I really don't like about it is the long gear ratios. I really don't like those good long. I mean, because you reach a corner and you want to slow the car using, the, you know, using the downshift. Because when you downshift the gearbox, uh, while you, you know, when, when you are braking and downshifting, the engine will also work as, uh, you know, the, like brakes. They, they call it engine braking, basically. When you shift down, it works like braking. So, but with this gearbox, because the gears are so long, you don't shift down. You just keep, keep on the same gear. So basically, you are relying on the brakes alone, on the discs alone to slow the car without the gearbox, which is a thing that you really don't want. You really don't want this thing on a racing car. 
on a supercar on a hypercar yes it can actually be nice because the car will be driven on the street it's more enjoyable this way but on the track you need gears you need to go through all the gears all the time to downshift upshift so you can brake the car better so you can accelerate better and so on but the engine is beautiful the, uh, the car is looking absolutely beautiful like a really like a piece of art really especially in automation game it does look very very striking i love the french flag on the side of it, it gives the car more european and more refined looks basically which i really love and it doesn't to be honest it doesn't really look like a gt truck a gt3 car in my mind it looks more like you know you, you know mclaren senna which is like a racing car but for the street this car it looks similar to it yes we have a sponsorship sticker only on this on the windshield and a number on the side but it feels the same way it feels like a mclaren senna basically which is like a racing car for the road you know it feels the same way and i like it i really love it but yeah it needs a different gearbox def definitely yeah and uh, maybe the automation if, if the automation developers can actually you know um, fix this mistake in the exporter so we can actually see the amazing paint job in bmg that would be absolutely an amazing thing to do and so on all right gentlemen and that is pretty much it for the gt3 challenge we have two winners we have the prettiest car the prize car goes of course to the nissan gtr creator mr the one and yui and the fastest car gentlemen the fastest car with a total time of 3 minutes 16.094 which is the Lamartina GT3 made by Mr. Ilmac. Yes, my friends, the Lamartina made by Mr. Uh, Ilmac himself. I mean, what a blistering thing indeed. Let's take a look on the Ilmac car. Here we go. We have the Lamartina and the Nissan GTR. Here we go. We have the Nissan GTR, which, uh, which takes the prize car for being the prettiest car here because of its amazing details i mean the nissan gtr looks just looks just astonishing with every amazing detail and because it was made only using vanilla fixtures no mods whatsoever on the nissan gtr which is mind-blowing and of course the la martina which is the fastest car here made by mr ilmac this is how it looks i mean it, yes you can, you can actually see the difference in the details between the, those two cars but of course the la martina is, was made to be more functional than actually being pretty and as you can see it worked absolutely superbly well and uh, yeah that's pretty much it my friends for the gt3 challenge i really hope that you have enjoyed it congratulations to mr the one and dewey and of course to mr ilmac for winning the prize car which is of course the porsche 911 gt3 uh, racing or the r1 version which was absolutely awesome I, I did replicate everything the engine the gearbox the brakes from the real deal gt3 racing car or as they call it the rsr i think or the r5r so yes i did replicate everything and now they can absolutely enjoy it yes it takes a while to load because it's full of fixtures as you can see um my friend i apologize but no we have to move on with a new challenge yeah because we have some really awesome upcoming challenges because prepare yourself mr thomas mr foxy mr mr the mr the busy himself all of you guys prepare yourself for an upcoming crazy challenge and because you are here with me you deserve to know like a little a little thing behind the scene which is uh, the next challenge uh, you may you may you may heard it already which is the dakar challenge the dakar challenge yes my friends prepare yourself for that because soon we'll be doing the dakar challenge which is an awesome off-road off-road challenge which is amazing i really cannot wait to start it up and uh, of course so we can all enjoy them and driving those awesome off-road machine i already have the map to do that and i really cannot wait to give it a go and that's pretty much it my friends for tonight live stream i really hope that you enjoyed it no unfortunately i i would really love to do that but i really don't have much time to do that
well. Would you like to see something awesome? Would you like to see something awesome? Let's let's take let's take a a little trip because as you know a little a little inspiring trips a, li a little inspiring trip for the next challenge if you are if you are willing to take it with me. Let's take a little inspiring trip if you want if you are wondering how the next challenge will be. If you want to get inspired for the next challenge, if you want to enjoy some of the awesome things that are up, that are upcoming on the uh, and of course on the next challenge, there, there's this map and there's another map. I have two maps. I have two off-road maps, and I'm like I don't know. I'm between them. Maybe I'll use this one. Maybe I'll use the next, the second one. But both of them are really, really awesome, and they are like they are like perfectly matched for the. Car, that car will be of course uh, you know you'll be of course seeing which map I'll be of course using now the cool thing here which is this one the XF Dakar which I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm I really like it but I want to of course to tune it more uh, for the Dakar challenge it's a, it's a brilliant design car made entirely of course uh, using the Dakar rules the car weighs 1150 kilos 1.6 liter engine it's uh, 240 horsepower and it's beautiful. So let's let's play, let's play, let me show you something cool. So basically, this is one of the maps that I mentioned. Look at that. I never say which one I'm gonna use it will be always a surprise but your car needs to be ready to take some punishment yep the, your car your suspension needs to be ready to take some punishment some high-speed jumps and bumps and all of that You want, you want to see you want to see some cool takes all right now the cool thing is not really driving the car the cool thing that I want that, that I mentioned is that I the film that I took earlier because uh, because you guys are really awesome and you're still sticking out with me on the live stream so let me show you the video that I recorded earlier that you that you will see on the rules video of the Dakar challenge this is this is like a, this is like a special behind the scene for you guys because you guys are really really awesome so, but yes, and by the way, it's blue, it's not red. So the video will be starting like this, basically. I drove, I drove this thing earlier today, and uh, yeah, you will be definitely seeing this footage on the video, as you can see. Same car, but you know, in blue, and I was listening to like rock music. I was really exciting, excited, you know. And uh, yeah, this is basically. I like a little behind the scene for you guys uh, so yes the upcoming challenge will be of course a dakar challenge i'll be of course tuning this car more you know putting some more dakar fixtures on it like a spare wheel and all of that but uh, look at that i mean on this on the straight here you can actually uh, achieve like 165 kilometers per hour easily with this car and the suspension takes all the punishment it's it's it keeps working and working and working no no problem whatsoever and that's why i'm so excited about the dakar challenge which is of course a sponsored video by i think mr triple m i have three sponsored challenges three sponsored challenges one one by mr elmac one by mr triple m and i forgot who's the th who's, who's the third guy so yes, we have three sponsored challenges. We have the Dakar, we have the 500 kilos. 
and a third one that I forgot. <laughs> so yes, you can actually you can actually learn about those upcoming challenges on the announcement page on my uh, on my Discord. You can actually scroll up and read the announcement uh, of the upcoming sponsored challenges. So yes, prepare yourself, gentlemen. Prepare your uh, off-roading tuning skills because soon we'll be, of course, uh, driving and uh, building Dakar machines. Well, Mr. Thomas, you have uh, you have two ways. You have two ways. The, the the main way, which is of course, you need to see, you need to subscribe to my Patreon page. Uh, you know, on the hyper on the hypercar tier, which of course you can sponsor your own challenge with your own rules. And uh, and of course, if if you can't for any reason, if you can't use Patreon, uh, you can of course go to my Steam wish list, pick me a nice gift with the same you know with the same price range and uh, you can sponsor your own challenge with your own rules so it's up to you you can use patreon or you can of course uh, go to my steam wishlist it's up to you whatever 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 easier for you my friend and when you do that when you finish doing that let me know on discord so we can discuss the, the up, your, your challenge with your own rules you know and so we can make it official well, I mean, I thought about making a video about that, but, you know, I, I don't want people to say, this guy is only thinking about money. Well, I'm not even thinking about, about money. I mean, yes, it, it helps. It helps me a lot, you know, you know, filling up the car with fuel, paying, paying the bills, g keeps me motivated. But, you know, I don't want people to think that I'm only into it for the money. I, I mean, I'm doing this as a hobby, but, you know, I'm, I mean, it, it helps, as I mentioned, and uh, it gives me great motivation to do more for you guys. If you want to sponsor your own challenge, if you have a crazy idea of an upcoming challenge, any crazy idea, anything, anything comes to mind, rally, drag racing, drifting, anything. As long as, you know, it's it's doable in automation game, uh, the rules are awesome, it's a, it's not really a, it's not really boring, you can sponsor it and we can all have fun with it. And of course, your name will be on the challenge. So, Yes, on, on the rules video, the creator of it will be named, of course. I mean, I'm going to say his name. I'm going to write his name in the description of the video on, on all of that on YouTube. And it will be on like forever. So maybe that's a bonus for you if you want, if you are interested in that. So yeah. So my friends, prepare yourself for the Dakar challenge very, very soon. I'll try to make the rules video tomorrow. And I really hope that you have enjoyed tonight's live stream. I apologize if I drove the cars in an unprofessional manner. I, tr I tried my best to uh, drive them as good as I can and uh, yes uh, I know I know I should have used the wheel but you know with the wheel we'll be we'll be like adding two extra hours on the stream because I'll be spinning out a lot and people will be get will be getting bored but yeah I really had so much fun I really appreciate every single car you guys sent to me and I apologize and I uh, and, I, and I'm really, really better luck next time to every disqualified car in this challenge because I, I really wanted to drive all the cars but you know the rules are the rules and if you break the rules well i can't do anything about that so thank you so much guys for watching big thanks to everyone mr thomas mr jipura mr foxy mr the biz himself uh, mr uh, mr aziz and all of you guys everyone that joined here mr quest triple three and everyone that joined here thank you so much from all of my heart for participating for view for watching my live stream and for writing all of your amazing 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 of course uh you know comments and all of your amazing ideas in the comments and of course if you are not following me if you if you are not on my twitch you can follow me here because sometimes i do some like midweek special twitch live stream so if you are not following me here you can follow me here and because i do sometimes some surprising live streams like midweek playing special games and all of that and uh, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it you'd like to see your car well i can show you the result of it i mean i can't drive it because i do drive it right now i mean it will spoil the result but i can show you the result if you are interested so i can show you the number if you are interested here's the number let me stop this first uh so i can show you the number if you are, what, what's your car name what's your car name mr uh, mr mr the bezel himself i can show you the car name or I can show you your car. Which one? The 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 Inovi, the Envoy, or something? Which one? So basically, these are all the cars.
Here's the envoy. Is, the, is your car the envoy? Which one? Which, which one is your car, Mr. The Bezel himself? Are you still in, in here with us? Or are you, like, away? Ah, here you go. So this is your car. The Envoy GT3 FR, uh, you know, rev, 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 reverse, or I think reversion 4. So, yes, it did... Uh, it did three minutes, 19.368. This is your time, my friend, in the sixth place. Amazing work. My friend, your car actually received a star for the amazing amount of time and fixtures used on it. Amazing work. I love how it looks. I love how it drives. I remember this thing actually drives pretty sweet. Yeah, very, 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 very awesome car, my friend. Three minutes, 19.368. Um, yeah, there, there is a little bit of delay or latency as they call it. There is a little bit of delay. I apologize about that. It's like a Twitch issue. But uh, yeah, it's it's a it's like a latency. Uh, it's, it's not for me. Maybe it's from the servers, from the internet, something like this. It happens. Maybe uh, high ping or something. But yeah, that's pretty much it, my friends, for tonight's live stream. I really, really enjoyed tonight's live stream, driving all of your amazing creations and all of that. And I'll be seeing you very, very soon with the Dakar challenge and awesome new challenges. Again, if you want to sponsor, you know what to do. Patreon page, Steam watch this, all of that. If you are not following me here yet, do follow me here because I do some special midweek live streams sometimes, playing special games and all of that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for all of your time, for all of your amazing support and all of that. And well, goodbye and good night for all of you, my friends.